Hi, and welcome back to Hinton's Crafts, where our wings fly free, just like our imagination. I am Jeanette, also known as Mrs. Hootie Hootington, and my special guest, Aiden. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, can you believe I'm actually here for a Made of Monday on a Monday? Whoa. I can't believe that. Oh, my face is so puffy. So if you see me, my eyes look really small. That's why. Um, the weather has been like so beyond crazy. The weather's been so beyond crazy that I'm just puffball today. Um, the other day, I, yeah, Saturday, it was like sunny in the morning. Then all of a sudden it went from sunny to muggy. Then out of nowhere, it went from muggy to freezing cold, windy like crazy, like it almost blew our screen door off the hinges um and then like blizzard like the snow came out of nowhere and we were like what in the world and so every time the weather changes my body just goes through the ringer um so yeah and then today is in the 50s which is like spring weather and tomorrow is supposed to be in the 60s and it's sunny and then all of a sudden, it's going to go to the 30s. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but my body is not happy. It's not liking it at all. And I don't know if it's because I get like these really weird headaches. I get body shakes and shivers. I'm really going through it. And I know it's like partly COVID side effects for Aiden. He's really going through it as well. Um, every time he eats, he feels like he's going to throw up. And, um, drink. Uh, yeah, and, or drink something. He's like, oh, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up. He doesn't throw up, but he just feels like it, and then he has to lay down. Like last night, I almost threw up because of that ginger ale. Yeah, I got him ginger ale because ginger ale like helps your belly, and he almost threw up, and yeah. I have one too, so that's so scary. I know. Like, yeah, and I have to not move. Every time I move and talk, like dog just comes. I know. So I just want us to be over this already. <laughs> Alyssa, she's just been extra sleepy. Like I call her an old lady because she goes to bed super early. <laughs> Not I want to. <laughs> well, yesterday, no, the other day she didn't, but she goes to bed super early and then she wakes up super early. <laughs> it's like things. Yeah. So wake up, Ollie. She's been going through it in other ways. And then Mr. Hoot too, so. That's sad. He got a way wasser than us. Yeah, I don't know what's going on through us. So, let me get started. I'm going to show you a couple things I've been making. Uh, Non-crochet related. I Well, I'm all... <sighs> Since COVID, I've had zero motivation for things. I kid you not. I'll start doing something and get really excited to do it. And then all of a sudden I get so sleepy. Like right now, I just want to, I just want to pass out. Like I'm so tired and ugh, I've never been this tired before. See, I just bet you tired. I yawned. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. But oh my goodness, I've truly never been this tired before. I just want to like, if I could, I could probably sleep like for a week. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I wake up. And I'm like energized. I'm like, okay, finally, I could do something. And then I start doing something and <gasps> oh, I'm tired. And I'm like, really? I just got like no energy, no motivation to do anything. My um, mermaid blanket I'm working on, which is mermaid scales. It's not. Um, it's the mermaid scales. It's, I'll show it again. It's mosaic. So anyway. I only got like this much done. And I would be done with it by now. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. If you hear me doing that, my voice still gives me trouble. It goes in and out. I feel like I have a frog in my throat. Frog. Frog, you know. Like Lizard? Yeah. You know when mommy talk about gosh. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to tell them she hawk. <laughs> and then like my nose is always running. I know I, I saw yesterday. Yeah, Crochet A posted a video. Um, I'm oh, real sorry. I apologize for my rudeness. Um, <laughs> and she was saying how her nose, you know, run it. Oh, that is That's so small. me. 
Oh, yeah. I'm tired of this already. And you know what's so weird? I had COVID three times. The first time, uh, I didn't have no uh, side effects afterwards. The second time, I thought I was dying during. But then afterwards, no side effects. The third time, I felt like I was definitely dying. And then I had the worst side effects. I still get this weird um, taste. medicine taste here and there in my mouth. Yeah. Or like I'll smell something weird. And I'm like, ooh, what's that? And it's nothing. Um... Something's happened about me because sometimes when I swallow, it like, tastes like salt. Yeah, sometimes when Aiden swallows, it'd be like really salty. Sometimes like when I, I swallow, I mean not swallow, swallow but like fries with salt. Yeah. Sometimes if I eat um something spicy, it won't taste spicy. It will taste sweet to me, and, and it will taste like really sweet. And I don't like, and I don't won't and like that's it. Never happened to you. Yeah. I, I can't eat spicy. Like, if I eat something I spicy, I'm like, <laughs> I need to drink water. I used to always eat spicy when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I can't handle it. But now it's like I eat it and it's, hold on, baby, and it's sweet and I don't know. But it's like really sweet. Like, ooh. Ooh. It's not like a good sweet. It's like, ugh. But yeah, um, except for the Cheeto, that was good. But I'm, I'm with this over and done with already. Yeah. But anyway, let me show you what I've been making. So, I made... Oops, my hair. Also, stitch earrings. You can also make... I do these with the Cricut. Um, this is hard this. plastic. I did uh, Shrinky Dink. And I just... <clears throat> I'm so sorry. See how it just goes in and out. I, I did it with um, Shrinky Dink and... I just made it a little bigger because I love big earrings. <laughs> and I do love hoops. And then this is all vinyl. And then on top of it, to seal the vinyl in, I did UV resin. So there they are. Also on your earrings, you can also make, use milk to end spicy. Yeah. Then an owl, of course. But most well, look how cute. Test. Oops. Can you see that good? Little silver out. No! I could tell if it's better or not. A little. Yep, it's a little silver. There we silver. go. Little silver out right there. And then look. And then the back of it is, is um Velvet? suede. Well, faux suede. So the front of it is the hard plastic, which is the shrinky dink. And I made it a little bit bigger. And then I put vinyl on top. And then the back is suede, so it's nice and soft. I couldn't talk. I was thinking you couldn't talk. Bubbles keep coming in our throat. Yeah. Smoke. Then I made these. Uh, this is hot. just out of vinyl. And the middle. Okay, so. Vinyl cardstock and vinyl again so it was iron on vinyl and then i put it on top of a cardstock and then on top of that i sealed it with the uv resin and sorry there's little fuzz and then i just put a, a little earring and then there you go of course me i love big <laughs> but I am going to make a whole lot of smaller ones, too. So, then, I'll show you one more thing. I made another non-crochet item. Um, I can show this because I by accident showed it. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. <clears throat> I was so excited when I made it that I went and I wanted to go show my sister and my niece. And I by accident sent it to Sandy. So, I get these bags. What, baby? She didn't see it. She did see it. <laughs> and she loved it. But I'm not going to show the inside because she didn't see that part. So, I get these bags. Bag. They're... So, I get these bags. They're, um... Yeah, they're full leather, but they're fake, um... Michael Kors. <laughs> uh, you go to, like, farmer markets or something like that. You always see, like, knockoffs and... You know, they try to make 
knockoffs, for, I guess, for those that can't afford it or something. I don't know. Or they're just trying to sell fakes as real. But anyway, I get them. So, I just peeled off. It had like a big Michael Kors thing. I just took that off. And then, look. It's backwards, I think. Yeah. It's a big S for Sandy. And then the Maple Leaf for Canada. This had a Michael Kors, like, keychain thingy i took that off i made her very own keychain but i cannot show it because she does not know what that looks like and then she cannot see what's inside yet because have to wait and see when she gets the package <laughs> so it's nice those bags i love getting them and i usually do i'll crochet like flowers and i'll put them all around it or i'll tear them apart um uh, I love to crochet bags, and so I don't have none with me here, but I'll use, like, the, the leather handles for my crochet bags or the straps for my crochet bags. I'll cut them up and use, like, the insides. Like, I use every bit of the purses when I do those types of things, but, yeah, I do many different things with the purses. And so now, with the Cricut, I could actually you know, do that, and then I could even add crochet things to it, which I'm so excited for. Like, uh, again, I'm not telling you to go out there and buy a Cricut, but the things you can do on a Cricut, I had no clue. If you do, <clears throat> they have Cricut Maker, Cricut Maker 3. They also have a smaller one, Joy or something like that. Be sure... Not everything can do everything. Some can do, um, like the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Maker 3, they could do everything. They can cut through material. They can cut through leather. They can engrave on glass, on wood. They can cut through cork board, um, cardboard, suede, faux suede, including yeah, tons of, of papers, tons of um, foil, like everything. They can cut through, like so many different things. The other ones can't do those types of things. So if you go out there and say, oh, this is so cute and small, make sure that it can do what you want it to do. If you just wanted to do the paper, then let it do the paper. But if you want it to do, you know, um, materials and other things like that, you really want to make sure you get the proper one. Uh, if you don't know, Klarna is a great app. So Klarna is like pay, buy now, pay later. You have to put so much down at first, but you, I know I'm not trying to give you an ad, but I love Klarna. You can do, <laughs> Aiden's like, you're doing an ad, um, but you can do Klarna, K-L-A-R-N-A. -A. So yeah, um, Joanne's does it, which is so nice. So like I said, it's buy now, pay later, but you do put like so much down up front. Up front. So only like a small per percentage up front. You get, I think, a $250 credit when you first try it. That's what I did when I first did it. I got $250 credit. So you can have a total up to $250 they put on and then you just put down your small thing and then every other week they will charge you. And it's like $19.94 or like $20 or I don't know, whatever, you know, your percentage is, they'll charge you every other week. So it's really, really nice. Um, Lion Brand, the Lion Brand site, they also have the little Klarna that you can uh, do that too. So it's really nice. It does not uh, affect your credit or go to the credit. I do sound like an ad. <laughs> Um, I'm not trying to, but I just want to help those out there that maybe don't have the money up front that you can do Klarna. It's like the ads we get on the TV. Yeah, right? I'm like, about Klarna. Yeah, Klarna. Klarna is Sponsored by Hootintin. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, so I just want to help you out there because, um, you know, if you can't afford it all at once. Got good money. Then there you go. You have that option. And again, it does not go go on your credit. You don't have to like, you know, anything. I, like I think you do have to have a cell phone number. I don't know. But you do need a bank account. You can't use like one of those um, go cards or anything like that. I use a 
green dot card for my PayPal because years ago, um, I was selling things on eBay and I got hacked and everything I sold, cause I did not know how to transfer money or anything like that. I thought you needed a PayPal card and all this crap. And then years ago, I got like an email saying, Hey, excuse me. You gave mama your throw up nest. I thought, oh, I was like, oh no. Anyway, ugh. um, I got hacked. I got like an email saying, hey, you need to log into your account. So I clicked the link and logged in. And then next thing you know, all the money that was in there lost forever. And it wasn't mine. I was selling my things for my aunt and gone. Well, it was probably a real person that did it, you know, but yeah, so. Ever since then, now if I ever do PayPal, I never link my bank account. I have the little go card. And then if I want to send somebody money or do something, um, I will go and load money on the card and then, you know, put it on PayPal that way. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Did I mention this? I don't think I did. Have any of you had any problem with the post office lately? I sent some packages out. They haven't received it yet. And I had Mr. Hoot check for me because he had it at work. Long story. Anyway, so he checked and it said, what is this? Is it the now? Uh, delayed. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully in the next couple of days, they receive their packages. Um, don't get that song in my head. We don't, don't talk, talk about, about Bruno. Bruno. No. Yeah, <laughs> tell them watching Underdog. Yes, watch Encanto if you haven't. And do uh, the That's all we do, right, buddy? I do uh. the right. Excuse me? My name is Elsa. <laughs> oh, my mouth. <laughs> um. Oh, guess what? Oh, I'm so upset. So, a couple, like last week, there was a snow owl that came down from Canada to here. Oh, I'm so upset. It comes down every year. And, um... Usually on snow days. Yeah, they come down every year from Canada, the snow owls. And, oh, I'm always looking, 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 trying to find it. The one year, it was right behind that yarn shop that I took you guys to. Um, in that tree, the snow owls go in there. And they scared them off because once they found out that they were there, a whole bunch of tourists, because it's like tourists um, land up over there. It's near like the Amish and stuff, so I always call it tourism land. So, yeah, they, they don't go there. So, I've been trying to find out where they go. <laughs> I'm so upset. Alrighty, so I want to, oh, I'm going to do the winners of, want me to show you Dino again? Okay, here is what I made Aiden, his Rhino Dino, he wanted me to show him again. I Yeah, I'm doing his baby Yoda, I have to, um, oh, finish his shirt. I was thinking, I was like, <laughs> I was trying to think. Okay, yeah, I have to finish his little jacket or something. It's like a little... Yeah, he has a little vest. Yeah, his little vest jacket or something. Yeah, like um, Alrighty, so the winner for my year anniversary, I'm going... And the Made It Monday, I'm going to post a video later. You know how I do like little word thingies? So that way you can see the name and hear, you know, see the spelling of it and everything. That way um, I don't mess it up. Well, I have um, to do another one. And then uh, I'll post like all the details. So read it carefully. And then you, and I'll have all the links again in that video portion. And yeah, so look for that later. I'll have that posted. Um, oh, what I want to talk about. So now I mentioned that I wanted to do a weight loss challenge. Um, it's going to be something fun. Something that I've learned from my doctors and nutritionists is that you should always like reward yourself every time you lose, even if it's an inch or a pound, but never reward yourself with food. Never have a cheat day. You know, don't say, oh, I lost this much 
or I've been busting my butt all week. Saturday is my cheat day. I can have a scoop of ice cream. No, you can have that scoop of ice cream during your regular, you know, um, routine. routine, everything that you're doing to lose weight, routine. but portion control. Make sure you portion control. And when you eat slowly, your mind has time to register that you are eating. Hold on, baby. Mommy's talking. Okay? Yeah, and you don't choke. That's a good job. Yeah. Your mind has time to register that you are eating. Your body has time to digest it. And that way you're not like, oh, that was so good. I'm going to go get myself, 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 another plate or another bowl, you know? So you really want to do those things. Um, so again, I learned never start a new, um, you know, lifestyle change because you never call it a diet when you call it a diet your mind automatically rejects it wants to not do it it's going to be like oh i'm dieting and it's not a diet it's a lifestyle change you are changing things for the better for you for your health for your mental state you know your emotional state because i'm pretty sure you know when you're not feeling the best you're like in your head that's me so um it's a lifestyle change and you never want to start that on the first of anything because when you start on the first, your mind regrets it. So we are going to start this on March the 7th. Um, I'm going to post the video of everything that I want to do and I'm going to let you know a little bit right now what we're going to do. So when I say I've done everything, I've truly done everything. It works. It don't work. I done that. All those gimmicky things I've done. I've done Herbalife. I've done um, Slim Quick. Uh, what's that other one? Trology something. Slimology. Uh, oh boy. There's so many of them that I've done. And they do not work. I promise you they do not work. Of course. If you're skinny and you are and you only have like three pounds, that is for you. Those will work for you. But if you need to lose 40 and up pounds or even like 30 and up pounds, they will not work for you. I kid you not, it will not work for you. If you could grab your belly and you can pinch quite a few inches, it's not gonna work for you. And you know. They're gimmicky things. They're things that they trick people like, oh, it's so easy. You don't have to change your food habits. You just take a pill and that's it. And it burns all that away. So you're scarfing down pizza and everything. And you're taking these pills and it's not working. And why? Because you it's fake. Down a pizza. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you that you can have everything you love. Portion control. Once you change the way that you eat and you shrink your stomach to get in the proper portions, what's going to happen is that's it. So when, you know, you go for a pizza and you eat just one slice, you're going to be satisfied. You're going to be like, wow. And you're not going to want anything more until later on. And if you want a dessert, you can have your dessert My and feel good. Now, if you need to cut out sugars, you could do that. I'm going to show you how to do all this. I promise you i truly do know things i've lost i was 394 pounds okay 394 pounds i lost what baby and what don't make so stupid and also don't really get ready to laugh oh okay i lost over a little over 200 pounds and now i did get surgery however let me tell you this i suffer from uh hypothyroidism and pcos and this weird word endometriosis or something like that three things not even all what i go through but three things that causes hormonal imbalances in your system also for you to gain weight. So that surgery was pretty much for nothing because when I got off the surgery, I lost, but then I plateaued. 
Like, I lost, like, 100 pounds, and then that was it. Nothing else. And Mm -hmm. when I went to my doctors, you know, like, well, that's because you have thyroidism and this and that. But it helped jumpstart. So I was thankful for that. So if you say, oh, well, you got surgery, that's why. Nay, nay. I got surgery, but I can't, I promise you, I bust in my butt. And I'm very proud to where I am because I did that. <laughs> he's funny with the name. He's like, nay, nay. <laughs> no, but I truly did. And, you know, um, you know, I, I went to the doctors. I said, you know, I didn't give up. I was going to, and then, you know, I met a, a great doctor that truly listened to me and and did not give up on me and then it jump started me to not give up on myself and so yeah I had that surgery but like I said it only helped me lose a hundred and then that was it I had to do the rest alone and I did I truly did but I'm thankful for that because without that I would not have been able to be where I am right now I truly want it I really really want it um I'm telling you, like, I was going to the gym every single day. I was eating right. I wasn't, like, I don't even eat a lot. Like, I truly don't eat a lot. They always pick me because they're like, you eat like a bird. Because I eat very little and I'm stuffed. And this was before surgery. Like, I would eat, like, very little and that was it. And I always ate, like, well, they always pick on me and call me a rabbit. Because I I love vegetables. So, I would eat more vegetables than anything. And so, the doctor's like, I don't understand, like, I didn't. I never had high cholesterol. High cholesterol. Um, I don't have diabetes or nothing like that. She goes, you have like the inner size of your body is like a normal, you know, healthy thinner person, but yet you're chunky. And well, you know, I um, was beyond chunky, but she was very nice. <laughs> and I said, this is what I, I have a problem with. Like this is what I'm trying to say. Um, sister's bugging me <laughs> this is what i'm trying to say like i don't know what's going on like i work out i was working out at the gym <laughs> baby you have to be quiet okay you have the giggles go down to your little son laugh okay <laughs> give me one second sorry giggles lots um so yeah uh you know i was saying i I was working out every day. Um, sometimes, okay. So Monday, and Monday, Tuesday, and Friday, I worked out once. It would be from seven a.m. It would be an hour every day, seven a.m. to eight a.m. And we would do these extreme workouts at the gym. We had a YMCA at the time membership, and we had this amazing trainer, and she did like these. Oh my goodness, like triathlon workouts where you're throwing these tires, you're whipping these big old ropes, like you're doing these major things. And doing all that while everybody else is losing like all this weight, I only lost three pounds. I was proud of that three pounds. I was like, whoop, whoop, but still. And um, then on Thursdays and Saturdays, I would not only work out in the morning, but we would do Zumba in the evening so i was getting twice to work out and i love zumba if you've never done zumba it is so much fun you're dancing and you're move, you're working things out you didn't even realize you, your body could sweat at <laughs> i kid you not it is so much fun um but i was doing all these things and i was not budging on the scale um and she she explained it to me she goes, this person can do all these things and lose weight, but with everything you have against you, all the positive you put into your body, your thyroid is turning everything into a negative and it's making you gain. So even though I was eating healthy, cutting out sugars, doing everything properly, it turned everything into a negative. One second. Sorry, Mr. Who came home. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, <sighs> that was harder. And then, like, the older you get, the harder it is to lose weight. So, anyway, after all of that rigmarole, after getting my doctors and my nutritionists 
and learning so much about my body and the human body and everything and you know what helps what doesn't help and how to like jump start i'm going to help you okay if you really really want to we got this together so i did hi my baby you want to say hi trixie's gonna say hi name my hi to trixie look here you go no okay i cut her little hair around her eyes but I didn't want to give her her spring haircut because it's still really cold. And here. Yeah. So, alrighty. So, I did every time you start a new lifestyle change, you want to detox your old lifestyle. So, how you do that is by drinking things that help you flush your system out. Flush out all the bad and get you ready to jump start your new ways of eating. So, I did JJ Smith's 10-Day Green Smoothie Challenge. It is a book for, I want to say, $12 on Amazon. Um, it is an amazing book. Do not buy her other stuff. <clears throat> Don't do it. <clears throat> I promise you, um, the first book, The 10 Days Green Smoothies, was life-changing and amazing. I was in the group when I first started like doing all my weight loss to journey and it was incredible. But then she started blowing up and then you know what, how it goes. They try to make more. So then they do all these other books and it's like, okay, but everything you see in these other books are in the first book. How I know this is because I went out and bought the other books and it's all the same. So don't do it. All you need is a 10 day green smoothie challenge. JJ Smith. Okay. So she gives you, um, uh, she gives you the recipes for all the smoothies. She gives you the recipes for all your snacks you're going to be eating in between, which I will talk to you about in a second. She gives you, um, grocery list, which I love. She tells you how many of each thing you will need. And I, I just love that. So, um, you're not just drinking these smoothies, which by the way are delicious. <laughs> when I tell you they're delicious, they are delicious. Me and my sister did it together and we were so scared <laughs> because you see this and it's like green. And you're like, mm -hmm, you know, but oh my goodness, they were, oh, it was like this tropical explosion in our mouth. We were like, okay, like I'm not even kidding you. It was that good. Um, so, and then you, so for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you will have your green smoothie. However, in between, you will have a snack, a snack. So you'll have like a tuna, which you use, um, vegan mayonnaise for, which Hellman's does a really good vegan uh, mayonnaise. Avocado one is one I get. Ooh, that's so good. So, um, you, you can use that. You can do your seasonings, whatever for your tuna. You can even chop up a boiled egg and put that in there. And then I always rolled it up in a, um, oh my goodness. It's a green leaf. Oh, not lettuce. What is lettuce? Romaine lettuce. There you go. Romaine lettuce. Because you know, romaine is like the big long heart. So I always rolled it up in that. And oh, when you do that, you feel really good. I'm telling you, because you do feel like you want to eat something. You want something crunchy. So that gives you that crunch and then that, you know, the tuna. Oh. Uh, it's so good. And if you want, you can even warm up your tuna if you want something warm and not cold. Um, uh, it's amazing. Then if you want a snack, you can do um, nuts. I always did the, the dark chocolate almond. And I always just did a couple only because you want something sweet. And then that will give you that sweet and dark chocolate is actually good for you. So I would do that. And then if you're still hungry... You can do like an apple with peanut butter. Like the book explains everything and everything you can have and what to avoid. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice when I was like, I'm on. <laughs> what to avoid. <clears throat> Doing the program for just the 10 days, okay? Now, there is a fat flush and soup you're supposed to do afterwards. We didn't do it, <laughs> but we did the program. And then after that, we started eating like... um. Oh, sorry. We started doing um, portioned meals and, you know, 
introducing you want to introduce your regular foods slowly in you okay i'm getting ahead of myself but anyway doing the 10 day challenge i lost a total of 24 pounds and my sister lost 23 so we're, we were close 24 and she lost 23 not including inches okay that's not including the inches that we lost <clears throat> um it flushes all the bad that's built up in your colon, that's in your stomach, that's in your body, every all the bad it flushes out of your system. So when you do this, make sure you're near a bathroom <laughs> because you will flush. Um, you just have to follow it to its T. The first two days, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard because you're so used to eating that you want. You know, like if you have a family like I do, um, you know, you smell their food cooking or you're just like, oh, you know, you want it. But after that, you're like, you don't even want it. Like, I kid you not. It's weird. Like all of a sudden, you're like, I don't want this. Like your body just changes. And like, <laughs> which we thought was never going to happen. Like my sister, she loves, well, Everybody loves pizza, but like she loves pizza and like things like that. And she was like, oh, this is going to be so hard. And it was. And she was like, I can't believe this. Like, what is this magicalness? I was like, right. So it works. And my nutritionist loved it. I showed her everything and she just flipped over. She goes, this is what I was telling you. And I said, see, and she goes, see, you got this, you got this. And so I'm telling you, it was the best. So that's what I want to do for 10 days. Starting March 7th, I want to do all this. If you would like to join me, I um, I can get the book for you on Amazon, the printable one that you can like print out on your computer. I can send that to you or whatever, or you can go and pick up the book and we could do it together. So let me know if that's something you want to do. Now, afterwards... I mean, there are little things in between that you're going to need. Um, collagen. Collagen really helps. Now, you don't need it, but it truly helps. Like, I kid you not, it helps make your skin look younger. It helps tighten you up. It is. It helps your nails um, firmer. It helps your body aches with your pain, like the bones and everything. I live by collagen peptide. I truly, truly do. I get mine at my vitamin shop and I truly live by it because it helps. I actually got to get it again. I'm talking about how I live by it, but I need to get it again <laughs> because it really helps. Mr. Hoop can tell you when I did everything that I'm talking about, I was like beyond the best. I was, I had more energy. I was like doing things. I was like, who am I? Like, I was walking, like, my back wasn't hurting as much. I was like, oh, what is this magicalness going on? Like, it's it's true. That's why I say life changing. Lifestyle changes. Wait, what did I call it? Life changes. Ah, oh, man. My mind. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But, yes, I'm telling you, it's amazing. So, um, now there, she also talks about a pill called Mag 7. Mag 7 is... Uh, is a natural, natural, natural uh, vitamin things. And what it does is help flush you out. Um, it really helps. So that I would say that's a must to get, but it truly, truly helps. And like I said, you're not, you at the beginning, the first like two days, you lose water weight. But after that, everything else is not water weight. Everything else is truly detoxing the bad out of your system and then from there you're going to start your healthy lifestyle change you will start introducing your foods into your you know your normal foods into things with little changes you know portion control and everything else and you will keep it off i've kept my weight off for this whole time i have not gained a pound back i just want to lose 40 pounds um 40 to 50 pounds because I have two surgeries, uh, one in the fall and one the beginning of summer. And I want to really lose that. So 
or in the middle of summer. I forget, but I really want to lose that. Um, just because if I have to like lay around the hill, I don't want to like gain anything, you know. And also, I don't know. I just want to lose that. So, yeah. Um, I hope you liked my video today. Look out for the other one. I will have the winners. Sorry, I was looking. I didn't want to kick my doggy in the face. I will do the winners for the Maiden Monday and also my year anniversary um, winner. So, yeah. Um, I was going to say else. So, yeah, if that's something that you would like to do, feel free to message me or comment down below. And, yeah, regardless or not, I'll still post up, you know, my progress and how it's uh, going. And, you know, you don't have to join that day. You could join whenever you want to and get your jump start. But I just wanted to share with you things that truly work. Um, so that way, you know, you can jump start it and you can get going because, you know, when you do these gimmicky diets, it it stinks. It stinks when you really, truly want to lose some weight and then you do them and you put in all your money into it and it doesn't work. And then you give up like, well, maybe I'm meant to be chunky, you know what I mean? Or, well, I'll just keep this one or, you know, whatever. It, it brings you down. But when you do things the right way and you know that it's the right way, and then you keep it off. It makes you feel so much better. Even if it's just five pounds. Losing the first five pounds, you're like, wow, you know? So, yes. Um, um, hopefully, I can help you the best that I can with that. Um, but like I said, I have my doctor and my nutritionist. So, everything I say, I check through them first. I promise you. I don't just spit out the mouth. <laughs> I'm like, try this, you know? But no, I truly do. I... And so on it when it comes to that because of having the struggle for years and years and not being able to lose weight that I make sure is this okay you know is this the right thing to do and I'm on it um so yeah and uh, that's all that's all I have for today I'm gonna go take a nap no just kidding I'm gonna go downstairs and see what Mr. Hoot's up to and see how his day was at work because I didn't get to talk to him all like that today. So I hope you are having a hooterific day. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Welcome to my new subscribers. And thank you so very much for joining. I promise you I have way more crochet things. Um, I do have, I'm so excited because I, uh, I'm waiting for my stuff to come in. I have so many bags that I want to work on. I just had to order the proper yarn for it. So I'm so excited. So then you're definitely going to be seeing more crochet things. And then um, I have to finish my one knitted top that I was working on. I ran out of yarn and then COVID hit and I didn't get to get out. Sorry. Ugh. So, no, my bell bell. Oh, look at my baby. They love the sun. You know, it's so crazy. Sorry. I know. I'm always rambling. Bella. She doesn't shed, but Derpy, he sheds like crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm going to this is fur and I'm like, boy. So I try to keep him out of the craft room because, yeah, I don't want hair everywhere. But then he gets jealous because Bella's allowed to be in here and I have a big window right here and she likes to lay on the desk and bask in the sun. She loves it and then I'll open it for her and then she looks at the birds <laughs> and it's funny because then when they see like the birds or there's something they're like Ehh. it is so weird how they do that I gotta record it one day it's so funny I die laughing every time anyway there I go so again I hope you have a hooterific day hooterific evening and night I will post that video so please be on the lookout for that uh later on um thank you so very much for uh joining my channel and tuning in i have so many things i you ever have like so many things you want to do that you just go crazy and you end up not doing anything because you don't know what you want to start that is me at the moment it's like i either have zero motivation or i want to do too much and then i don't do anything <laughs> so yeah um that's all i have for today i will see you sometime this week again yeah so 
no outs. Well, I did have an out today to show, but um, I'm not going to do a meet it Monday. So don't look for the out today, please. I'll do that again next Monday. I'll post that up. I just wanted to focus on the winners and get that, you know, through. So, all right. So again, who ends and out? Bye.